what inspires me. Hi everyone, this is Anna from Perth, Australia. Hi, I'm V McGuire. I believe it's a, a deep longing feeling of creating, of, of doing things I've never worked on or discovered or created before. So my acting journey uh, really began in 2009 when I was an extra in a music video for a local band. When I was a kid, I loved to write little plays and act them out. And then one day when I was about 12, the postman made a comment to me which I believed meant that I was ugly. So I believe that an inspired action is absolutely effortless because when you love what you do, you will go up and beyond and give it 110%. Since then, I had a series of extra roles in more music videos, uh, student films, a web series and a charity advert. In that moment, my world kind of crumbled and part of me shut down. In, in, a, in a split second, I put multiple limits on what I might be capable of and made decisions that affected my entire life because of an idea about how I looked. I used to work in a big company and I loved my job. I loved the career, the status, the money, the fame. I loved everything because I met so many people. And then I suddenly discovered that there was more to life. I became quite introverted. It was really in the last few years when I started having speaking roles with my first feature film a role in 2017 when I was approached with an offer of a speaking role as Miriam, a supporting role in a local independent feature film called Black Ghost. So I never told anyone until about three years ago and I saw an ad for some acting classes for adults here in Perth. I, it, it all took a turn. I suddenly went into acting acting classes, I, I went for all the networking events that we had and I made it a point to uh, go to all the auditions, not for the sake of getting the audition, but through um, going through that process and discovering what was it like. Um, that memory flooded back and I felt a strong urge to go along and, and do the classes, which I loved so much. Even though the story is quite dark, um, I actually had a very calm and soothing uh, role as this uh, wiser and older friend of the family. So they actually had to age me for the role as well, which was quite interesting. When there's a role later down the line, they're gonna remember you and that's how I've got most of my roles. I then decided to ride that wave and sign up with an acting agency to, in an effort to try and expand my horizons a bit further. And it, it will just multiply and grow in bounds that you've never even dreamt of or expected. I had to face and overcome all kinds of old ideas about myself. There is um, passion, there is love for what you do. I was approached by the director of a Polish theatre play, a family drama called Happy Birthday Melanie, that she wrote for our for Polart uh, Polish Visual and Performing Arts Festival in Brisbane. Going to auditions and then securing roles, first in community theatre, then in some um, short films and commercial work, role playing, uh, even getting an agent, it's all just been wonderful. I have not acted in theatre before, so I was very worried to forget my lines, basically. So when a script is written, they have a person and a character in mind, but that can be worked around. Uh, once on stage, I got so hyped and, and running on adrenaline, uh, I totally forgot about forgetting my lines. Um, yeah, it was the highlight of my acting career so far. There are many times that I walked into an audition space and the role was for a male and I still got it because they did find something in me that was very close to that character. I really felt hungry to try everything and make up for lost time. <laughs> I got some coaching and voice work as well and got into audio plays and audio books, which has been fantastic during the lockdown period. And now I'm back doing some film projects and have just auditioned for another role in a theatre production. I love the very emotional role. Um, and incidentally, I do a bit of modelling as well. and have been divorced as well, so um, I could access some of the skills and um, 
emotions. So I believe that if you want to grow your your passion for the arts and performing and um, the theater industry, you've got to network. You've got to put yourself out there. So create create your own videos. Create take a script off hand and you know read it and pick up the monologues or or things that resonate with you. So the biggest driver in all of this um, has not been fame or fortune, although they'd be welcome, but it's really been the incredible opportunity to discover or rediscover myself. You can create your own script, so write your own script and then, um, you know, make it happen. Um, I mean, through acting, I'm learning so much about myself and what I'm capable of. And it's actually being able to release those emotions, either on stage or in film, that drives me as an actor. If you have a longing and a calling, you will, you will go after it. And it's also been very humbling and wonderful to work with so many talented people. And inspired action is absolutely effortless. Now I absolutely love what I'm doing. Um, the variety is fantastic. I love challenging myself with monologues in particular. That's what I really enjoy. It's very therapeutic and I also love being able to create a character and escape into another reality. The interaction with people is just extraordinary. Um, yeah, I, I now can't imagine ever putting myself back into a small uh, neatly defined little box of who I am. I believe that I am so happy with everything I've created. I don't doubt myself a bit and I love everything that I've created. And I want to take people on this journey with me. I want to be able to entertain people and make it easier for everyone to get through these uh, tough times. I think the journey of discovering that will continue. And what a wonderful way to do it by playing a diverse range of characters. And I certainly don't think that we are going to break our screen addiction uh, too much uh, anytime soon, uh, particularly in these more quiet times that we uh, found ourselves in. Seeing what of myself I can find in those characters. I've actually used this more quiet time to attend acting webinars, and I found there's quite a few uh, casting calls globally for self videos, uh, which I didn't actually see before. So, so here I am. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what inspires me to be creative. So that's my passion now, and I love it, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. And thanks for watching, guys, and keep those stories and conversations going. <laughs> see you later. Take care. Bye.